Hi guys, it's Sydney and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a makeup look for y'all. So like, subscribe, and I also have my son in here with me. You'll probably hear him throughout the video. Um, but let's get started. I'm using for my primer my Wet n Wild um, Matte Face Primer. I love this face primer. It is not heavy. It is not thick. It is really light. It works really, really, really well. Okay, and then for my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using the LA Colors eyeshadow primer. I love this one too, it works super well. And I'm sorry I am so late on posting this video. Um, this week has been a crazy week, so if y'all can just bear with me, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have another one posted tomorrow, too. Um, that and sometime, hopefully next week, I will be doing an unboxing. Because I ordered, I ordered some stuff to show y'all. And I love it. So, next, hopefully next week, I will be doing the unboxing. If not, then it'll hopefully be the week after that. Um, but if y'all have any makeup looks y'all want me to do, please, please, please let me know in the comments. And I will be more than happy to do them. Um, so I just got a new brush set uh, from a friend of mine. I don't know what the names are because I don't have don't have names on them. Um, but she told me they were very expensive. So if anyone knows what the brushes are, like the names of the brand, please let me know. Because um, I always love knowing what kind of like what the brand of brushes are. So if something happens to them, I can go back and get some more uh, but we're gonna do and I got a new eyeshadow it's kind of it's kind of a cheapy one but I'm gonna be doing Sorry, I didn't know there was stuff on the back of my eyeshadow palette. Um, but yeah, this week has been a crazy week. Crazy week. So, hopefully. Hopefully. And these are my new brushes that I got. I love them. Love, love, love them. So we're gonna do kind of a uh, glamour look, I guess, if you wanna say. I'm gonna do some shimmer eyeshadow today. And hopefully it will look, well, I don't wanna say shimmer. It'd be more of a, uh, more of a smoky eye, I guess. And hopefully this turns out really well, really well, because this is my first time using these colors. So, we'll see how it goes. 
So I'm gonna take, cause this one has, um, and I took, sorry, um, on my eyeshadow palette, I did this one as my base, cause it's, it basically matches my eyelid, um, somewhat. But yeah, I took this color, And then I'm gonna go in with this gray. I'm using two different palettes, so I'm sorry. Be using this gray color right here to kind of put in corners right here in my crease. Like I said, this is a first on using this color. So I'm sorry if it doesn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to. But that's just part of doing something for the actually we will let's go ahead and put it all all over the eyelid and then we'll come back and do and no, that's what my son has to say about it um do another color on top of it because i'm kind of gonna do a gray smoky eye, kind of. go in with this oops go in with this color right here it's kind of a uh, grayish blue color and put it right in the creases And I completely forgot to tell y'all what brush I was using. My black one. It is the Beauty Accents. I wonder if you can see that. It's the blending brush. That's one that I was using before this one. And like I said, I'm not too sure on the name of this brush. I didn't quite say what it she didn't say what it was. She just said that they were kind of expensive. And then I'm going to take my techniques. I'll see that. Kind of. Um, go in and just blend it all out. There's not so many harsh lines. Okay, 
looks. Alright guys, sometimes my eyes just do not want to match each other. I don't know why. Okay. And then we are going to take the word. This brush right here, it doesn't have a name on it, but it's just a regular eyeshadow brush. And then we are going to take some Oops. We are going to do the kind of a creamy color. We're just going to stay right there on my lid. another beauty accents and we're gonna take this we'll do the same cream color right above the brow or right below the brow I'm sorry just gonna give it a little and then right in the corner Okay. And the palette that I, well, both palettes, the, this is the palette that I was using for the creams. At the, it's the NYC Lavatix. Um, and then the other one I was using is the BYS eyeshadow. Now that we are done with I'm going to do my eyeliner. And if this looks a little messy, it's going to be cleaned up, I promise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Apparently my son has a lot to say. <laughs> Clean, clean this up. Now, I've always tried doing it, <clears throat> doing my eyeliner on my waterline, 
and I don't know what it is, but I cannot get it to stay on my waterline at all. It always manages to get rubbed off. But if y'all have any tips on how to keep it on your waterline, please let me know. going to do oh sorry the um, eyeliner that I'm using is the wet n wild mega last um, eyeliner in color black um, and now I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows or filling in my eyebrows with the number seven beautiful eyebrow and it is it's a sculpting pencil it doesn't yeah it doesn't have a a, a color but i'm not gonna say the name but it here kind of that color if y'all can it's kind of a, a little bit lighter than a milk chocolate brown And I generally don't take the uh, other end and kind of fluff them upwards because I've noticed with me fluffing them upwards before I do it and then pushing them, or not pushing them, but setting them back where they need to be, I tend to have spots that I have missed. So I just take it this way and then I'll do it. Take this end and do it afterwards and see if there's anything I missed that way. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and flip them upwards. Basically, get all the extra that doesn't need to be there. And same on this side. Kind of shape them like that. Okay. <laughs> My son has a lot to say today. Um, and now I'm going to take. beauty blender and I just got this at Dollar General and the foundation that I am using is the number seven airbrush away foundation and it's in cool ivory I love number seven love them it's the only foundation I've ever been able to find that actually matches my skin.
Sorry, I'm giving him his. Giving him a toy. Um, but if y'all have any questions, anything at all, please don't be afraid to ask. I love answering y'all's questions. Love seeing comments. And for y'all who don't know, I kind of have a combination skin of oily and dry skin. And this number seven that I am using right now works mm. great for my skin. It doesn't make me break out. It's not heavy at all. It's not thick. It's just, it's perfect for my skin. So if y'all have combination skin and it's, your makeup is break, making you break out, try the number seven. Um, I'd always, I was always kind of skeptical about them just because, you know, it was like, oh, it's another one saying that it's perfect for combination skin and every type of skin. Well, they're they're actually right. It is. Um, and the, the, the loose powder I am using to bake my face is the CoverGirl Clean Professional. It's just in, it, it's kind of in between a translucent and a very, 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 very light cream color. And I'd always struggled before with everything kind of gooping up under my eyes, you know, throughout the day. And I learned actually on the wonderful YouTube um, about baking your face. And I didn't know what in the world baking your face meant. Okay. So I'm just going to put this, sorry, I'm going to put this right in my T-zone. Right here. So I have a lot of problems with my my T zone. Um, and I'm gonna let that sit for about mm, three, four minutes. Not very long, just because the longer you bake, it may not come out very well. So I'm going to do my lips. And this is the Wet n Wild. It is in the color, <laughs> ironically, oh, wrong way. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see if we can get it to. But it's in the color Send Nudes. <laughs> um, but. But I love this color. Love, love, love this color. Okay. 
And generally I would do false eyelashes, but I currently <laughs> have lended them out to a, a friend of mine. Um, so I'm gonna take the big brush of my new brush set. I'm just gonna get all, all that powder. And now I will go back and just do a very light <coughs> coat, I guess. <laughs> very light touch to my entire face. Um, but I try and focus more right here and down here and in my T-zone just because those are the worst areas for me oil-wise. So I try not to do as much powder on the rest of my face. But I'm going to do the Naked Palette by Urban Decay. And my palette has been kind of destroyed a little bit. It got destroyed whenever we moved, which really hurt. Um, but as you can see, it it got a little destroyed. But doesn't mean that it is, you still can't use it, <laughs> which I've learned. So I'm going to take the, the bronzer. I'm just gonna run it in here. I'm just gonna kind of contour my face a little bit, my little cheeks, because after having my my youngest, I gained a lot of weight with him. Thankfully, I was able to lose a lot of it after I had him. I still have a little bit, a little bit to go. Just a little, a little more on this side. And I'm sorry the lighting is a little crappy. Sorry. I'm still waiting for my, my ring light to come in. And I had just gotten out of the shower earlier, and this is why my hair is not done. I'm sorry. Again, been a crazy week. Um, and I'm going to take my finger and just rub a little bit. Rub a little bit on my finger and just run it across my nose and contour my nose. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. He has a lot to say today, apparently. Okay, and then I am going to take my CoverGirl Professional Clean Professional again, and I am going to very lightly kind of kind of just add some more around my face. Not too much. Just because I don't want to put too much on the areas I don't, I don't need it. Mm -hmm. 
much. Um, I'm going to try to avoid what I just contoured. Okay. And usually the extra I just tap back in. Tap back in there. Oops. And then I'm going to do my mascara. Usually I would do false lashes, but like I said, I've lent them out right now. So I don't have them with me. Sorry about the face. <laughs> And we are done. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, share. Um, definitely leave comments on what else you want to see. And thank y'all for watching. And I'll be back. I'll upload again tomorrow. Thank y'all. Bye. Mm -hmm.